Uh, well, of course, uh, finding a building, moving things in, and re renovating this place probably. Yeah, I mean, how did you even go about that? I mean, uh, you knew what you needed, right? I mean, you knew what was well, yeah, required. Well, yeah, uh, I had done, I mean, with KMB, we had moved shops like five, six times, you know, over a 20 year period or 15 year period from the time we started. And so every time we kind of knew what we needed to do, we had to put in this, put in air conditioning, you know, uh, air filters, spray booths. You know, whatever. All the technical yeah. crap. Yeah. Huh? So I mean, and you know, build tables. You know, we've done it so many times. It was that was the easy part. You know, it was it was just time consuming. But uh, I mean, I, I just I guess I'm trying to understand just uh, mentally how you prepare yourself or something. I mean, you're not just moving across town. You're moving from one side of the country to the other side of the country. I mean, really, right. basically shutting down business for how long did you say? A year? You couldn't work. Yeah. Basically, it was a year. I, once I got back here uh, and found the building, it took me about eight months after finding the building um, to, you know, do the renovations and, uh, and build the interior of this. Right. Um, but uh, that, you know, that was just kind of a, hey, I'm on vacation. It was, you know, <laughs> it was actually, you know, I was here every day over the winter. We were demolitioning everything, pulling old, old boilers out of here and, and stuff because it was yeah, a bowling imagine. alley and it had like these 50-year-old giant boilers in there now you can heat the entire shop with a teeny little thing you know it's like <laughs> um so it was it was really just design i was actually having fun it was like moving working on a movie project because i was designing and working through how i was laying this building out you know to be a functioning effect shop you know right and, and setting it up too for computers and everything we had to run all new computer uh cat five and stuff so we could uh, set up our, our workstations and everything so Make it all work. But the technology, was the technology a big thing that allowed you to make the move? Or do you think if it was still done the old-fashioned way, would you still have made the move? Um, well, obviously now it's easier to communicate with filmmakers all over the world. So even if we have a filmmaker from South America or India or whatever, um, or even in the U.S. and they're in L.A., we can sit here and design and sculpt and videotape it and send them, you know, drop box it to them or right. set up an, an account where we can interact. Um, you know, you got Skype, now you can do meetings on the, on the phone, you know, basically, or on the computer, I mean. And uh, so that makes it easier just to deal with, you know, uh, filmmakers all over the place and not have to be in L.A. Right. proper, you know. Or, so, uh, I mean, there's so many films now being shot all over the country, you know, because everybody has a tax incentive or different states have tax incentives so wherever you build it doesn't matter it's like you go there to, to do the work when the, when they're shooting right and you just ship it you put it on a truck and you drive it <laughs> you down it you know it's like because yeah. well, I remember back in the day as it probably you do too when like filmmakers like Romero and stuff who chose to work out of Pittsburgh were almost exiled I mean they were thought of as like working so far outside outside of the Hollywood system right and now it seems like that Hollywood system just doesn't really even exist anymore well, the Hollywood system moved. Every, now the Hollywood system's chasing all, all that stuff around yeah. as well. So it's, you know, um, like, for instance, The Walking Dead shoots in Atlanta. Right. You know, and, and, and other TV series shoot different places. Like uh, North Carolina, they shoot Banshee, and they were shooting Homeland there. And, you know, so... Um, and the film crews have moved all over the country, too. You know, you got film crews. People who live in New Mexico, and they got a nice film community there you know yeah uh, and you know they do everything that comes into that state so do you find or do you think that the people in Hollywood the, your protégés that are still working there do they envy someone like yourself being able to do what you do or do they look at you as kind of a deserter for doing what you do no they definitely don't look at me as a deserter yeah. they, 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 a lot of them go I wish I did what you do or what you did, did. you know yeah. I'd like I wish I had the guts to move out of this state. I mean, it's LA is not an easy place to to work and live because it's so expensive and the traffic's so bad and you know and, and and just in general. I mean, it's I like going to LA and I like hanging in LA, but after a period of time in LA, you just kind of don't want to be there anymore. Right. And uh, then then on the other hand, you know, you have them going, ha ha, you're in the middle of like ten feet of snow. <laughs> you know, what are you thinking? Good old Ohio. Yeah, yes. yeah, but. Uh, but it's more laid back here. It's cost of living is easier to deal with. I mean, you go business-wise, no matter what, you go through the struggles, whether you're here or there. Right. So it's just here, it kind of is a little less stressful in the sense of, you know, 
you're not paying the kind of overhead and living expenses you pay out there. And you don't have to pay, f the gas travel out there is ridiculous. I mean, no matter where you go, you're, you're in traffic for two hours a day. And so, you know, you're spending a lot of money on gas, just yeah, getting back. Just get back and, you, and you want to live away from where your business is, usually, because, you know, a lot of us would, in L.A., we have the business in the valley, and then we didn't really want to live in the valley, or we moved a little further away so we could afford the house we were living in, because it's cheaper the further away you are, you know? You're right. So, um, and then people just got really tired of traveling. I mean, I hated it every day, driving to, you know, Van Nuys from... Thousand Oaks every day. Yeah, so. it's got to be real different. I mean, here yeah. there's like now. Now you know, I ride my bike to work. Yeah, five minutes. Like, you know, traffic, it's like yeah. so. no traffic. Did, did you find or did you find that the the small town, the rural location embraced having this little piece of Hollywood here? Or do you? Oh uh, yeah, they do. Kind of yeah, they think it's exciting. You know. Yeah. You get the people come to town um, to visit, and everybody, you know, someone will call and say, "Hey, can I bring my family through?" Or um, and then nobody knows that we're here, you know. I can't believe that's what that is in that building. Yeah, it's a very unassuming. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's not like you've got big yeah. flashing lights and right. say major home Yeah, home come home. bug us here. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, so like my parents bring people by, like the police department dropped by the other day, you know, new guy in town wants to check things out. And, and um, you know, one of the guys is going to do the mock, uh, you know, fire thing that they uh -huh. do with the injuries and stuff. So um, they came in and, you know, they always bring the new guy in to check it out, you know. Part of the reason is when the alarm goes off in the middle of the night, they want those guys to know when they come in that not to Don't shoot Don't be scared shitless, yeah. <laughs> so, but, yeah. And you've done a lot of other things here as well. I mean, you got your haunted attraction. Is that that's still yeah, in, yeah. The, in the fall, which yeah. is amazing. We're going to do our third year this year. It's always, you know, I always have these big plans for it. And then depending on what's going on business-wise or, you know, film project-wise, it determines how much I do with that. Right. But, uh, yeah. Are you still doing any teaching or anything here? No. Still, no. That, that? Uh, occasionally we're doing some private lessons and weekend workshops that we're doing, but they're kind of, we have to work around the film schedule. Yeah. And the problem is we plan. At the end of the day, that's what it's about. We, right? we end up planning that. Like, we are planning them for this summer. And, um, and then now, like, it looks like we're going to be busy for most of the summer. So it's like, I don't want to pile that in in the middle of having a shop full of stuff that we have to get out. Yeah, any, door, you know? any more plans on any local shop stuff, like, like the Rage or anything like that? that uh, no, do, but I mean, we do have uh, uh, Jeff Miller's coming into town who uh, did um, Gary's movie, uh, what, uh, Axe Giant. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's coming into town like next week with a small crew and they're shooting out in the shanty town that we have built the little cabin sets we have built out back for the haunt. Yeah. So they're shooting a part of their movie there and a little bit in town and some stuff in Cleveland, I think. So, um, but we're basically just facilitating, you know, uh, having a workspace and an office space for them. It just seems like more and more like Hollywood style productions are coming your way. Well, in Ohio, yeah, we're, we're getting, I mean, we just finished one called Fun House Massacre. Uh, we were working on the wake before the Bruce Willis movie, before mm -hmm. it got shut down. Um, and we have another film potentially coming into town here in the next few weeks. So it's, uh, I mean, it's good. I was just taking, yeah. turn in a little film hub, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, good old Crestline Ohio. Yeah. Here it is, huh? Yeah. All right, Bob, well, thank you so oh, much. I, I really appreciate you taking the time to do this today.